Mr. Jackson, I would like you to understand that the questions you have been asked here is just to help us out in our investigation. I understand. Concerning your daughter's exit, sir, do you know of any existing conflicts between your daughter and anyone? Perhaps you had issues with someone who couldn't reach out to you but your daughter. <clears throat> well, um, I am sure I don't have an issue with anyone. And neither did my daughter. My, my daughter was uh, a loving and gentle soul. The bullet that was retrieved from Mr. Tegri's head is being investigated right now in our ballistics. And soon the results will be out and we would know who purchased it and when it was purchased. Do what you have to do to get your results, officer. Sorry, Mr. Jackson. Yes. Can you go over it one more time? What really happened that night? Well, um, it was almost time for the appreciation toast. And uh, Frank was looking for his wife and best friend. So uh, he left the party and I followed him out, out of concern for my daughter. Okay, sir, please continue. Um, outside, um, I asked him how come his wife and friend were missing at the same time, and Frank turned red in anger. I, I, I had to calm him down, and when he was calm, I, uh, I told him to go and get his wife, and then I went back into the party. So where were you when you had the gunshot? I was inside the party waiting for Frank and uh, his wife to come back. And I, I'm sure I waited for like 20 minutes or so. But when they didn't come back, I went out to look for them. That was when I had the gunshot. Okay. Um, and? And I was gripped by fear. and But somehow I, I overcame it and I went towards the, 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 the sound of the gunshot. When I got there, I, uh, I saw Tedrix lying dead and Frank came in to... Uh, Frank arrived at the scene immediately? Yes. Mr. Jackson, mm. are you sure that what you're telling us is the truth? I am quite sure Frank arrived immediately and went into the, the bathroom. It was actually his scream that brought me to the bathroom to see, to see my daughter. That would be all for now, sir. You've been very helpful and we appreciate that. We'll call you when we need you, sir. I, I'm always so available. Thank you. Thank you. Three suspects. The day we visited Mr. Frank, can you remember the statement he gave? Especially the part he said it took him 10 minutes to get to the room where the gun was shot. 
Yes. Yes, I, I, I remember. And now Mr. Jackson said Frank arrived at the scene immediately. Something is off. Who amongst them is lying? We'll find out. First thing in the morning, I want you and Halima to get Frank to the station. Where were you on the night of this month? I was in my house. So you were in your house all true? Nope. I stayed out to see a friend. Who and where? Roots. I often buy one beer. May I know who she is? She is Ruth, the CEO of Anna Lance. You know what to do. So do you mean you are going to detain me here while you wait for her? Well, on the 1st of February, we had a mother case at G&G &G Hotel without a trace. On the 11th of July, we had a murder case at Barrister James Ezago's house without a trace. And on the 31st of December, we had another murder case without a trace. Thank God for the camera that was recording without you knowing. That was then. I passed. I'm done serving the prison. Thank you for coming, Mr. Frank. Officer. Jane. Inspector Jane. Whatever, I don't care what you call yourself. I don't understand why you're bothering my life. Instead of being out there tracking the killers of my wife, which is your primary assignment? Well, that is exactly what we're doing here, sir. Mr. Frank, at the exact time of the gunshot. Oh my god. Where were you that night? Are we going to do this again? Are we, are, we, are we going through this drama again? Well, Mr. Frank, I need you to understand that your cooperation in this case matters a lot to us. I need you to help us cooperate, to help us track that whosoever is behind the death of your wife and your best friend. I was about to make an appreciation toast. I realized that either my wife or my best friend was present. They were missing. I left the party and went to the hotel rooms in search for my wife. I searched everywhere. I couldn't find her. So I decided to return to the party before I heard the gunshot. When I got there... Immediately? Yeah. No, no. No, no. Not immediately. Not, not immediately. Um, okay. Please continue. I got there and found Mr. Jackson, my father-in-law, standing over the body of my best friend, covered in his blood. I got in, checked the bathroom, and there I found my lovely wife, laying cold, dead, soaked in her own blood. From what I know, Mr. Frank, you arrived at the scene immediately, which makes me believe that you were not far from the room where the gun was shot. Oh, you saw who shot it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Are you insinuating that I killed my wife and my best friend? Is that what you're trying to say? No. I never said that. I just asked you a question. No! You just asked me a damn stupid lame question. My wife is dead. My best friend is dead. And instead of you being out there tracking the killer, all you sack load of shit could do is tell me bullshit. Bullshit upon bullshit. Whoever. The killer of my wife is roaming out there free. Walking free. And you're here telling me nonsense.
What kind of cop are you? What? Am I supposed to, to, to teach you how to do your job? Am I, am I supposed to teach you how to be a detective and, and, and go out there and find the killers of my wife? Inspector Jane, is everything okay? Everything is fine, detective. I've got this. Mr. Frank, from my investigation so far, you arrived at the scene immediately after. Fine! Fine! Okay, fine! Whoa, 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 whoa. What if I got there immediately? Huh? Does that in any way prove that I killed my wife and best friend? Huh? No. But I want to know why you lied about it. I want to know why you said you came to the scene 10 minutes after the gun was shot. You are sick in the head. You're out of your mind. If I'm not under arrest, I would like to take my leave now. I am done with your bullshit. If you have something better to tell me, let me know. Not so fast. Please sit. Sit. Here is the result of the forensic examination that was carried out on the bullets, which was found on your friend's skull. So, what has that got to do with me? That bullet was shot from an M116 gun. The firearm was purchased in the name of one Mrs. Jessica Jackson on the 13th of April 2019, who happens to be your deceased wife. Here's a photocopy of the license on that same firearm. It was requested by one Mr. Frank Amobera on the 13th of April 2019 and was issued on the 27th of May 2019. <laughs> Wait, so, so I, I killed my wife and best friend on my anniversary. Mr. Frank, what was the relationship between your best friend and your wife? Are you aware that the school together, perhaps even dated in the past, You knew your wife was having an affair with your best friend. So you took your wife's and shot your best friend. My handled your wife until she gave up. I did not kill my wife! I told you that you did it! If I am not under arrest, I'm taking my leave at once. You have lost your mind. You hear from my lawyer. No sense. I think it was wise doing that. Do what? Accusing a supposedly guilty man. Pissing him off. Telling him that we might be onto him. When you know he have all the resources to flee away. I don't know who the killer is. But that man's got a temper. And he's capable of harming someone. I agree with you, but... I don't agree with your approach. I will set him a trap. Let's see what happens. But before then, I would like to pay the crime scene a visit one more time. Very well then. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, chairman, uh, yeah, I'm in the office now. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, okay, sir. Oh, okay, sir. Good day, sir. Yeah, good day, inspectors. I'm Inspector Jane. Yeah, I know you, Inspector Jane. Actually, sir, we've been here a couple of times to see you in respect to the murder case that took place in your hotel three days ago. Yeah, I wonder why a man will kill his wife and his best friend on the day of the anniversary. What? Doesn't sound strange. What a wicked world. How do you mean? 
one of my workers told me that um, she went to serve a customer in a row. So she had two men yelling and quarreling in the next door. So after a couple of times, she had a gunshot. So she quickly rushed out to know what is happening. She saw a man sitting out of the next room. Behold, it was the celebrant. What? Are you sure of what you're telling us? Yeah, I'm very much sure. And since then, I've been trying to get across to you. That is all I can say for now. Okay. How can I see this stuff of yours? Uh, okay. Come with me. I cannot just believe what my ears have heard. I can't! I knew it. <sighs> I knew we did it. I must confess that man is very heartless. Very heartless! Heartless! First thing in the morning, I will get the arrest warrant. And we will go to Frank's apartment and apprehend him. Why are you postponing it? Like I said before, this man has all the resources to jump bail. Why, why, why not act up now? Don't worry. I have everything under control. He must be brought to justice. For the mother of Mr. Teji Kolufu, you have every right to remain silent as anything you do or say will be used against you in the court of law. Are you out of your mind? You don't have any proof. You keep bugging me with this. This you, you're a culprit. You're, you're, you're under arrest. What's this? Huh? 
What's this? I've been watching you closely since. Smart work, but not hard work. Look, I don't have time for your nonsense. I'm heading to the airport and I don't want to miss my flight. I have an important meeting to catch up with. You can call me to your office and we'll talk about this. Don't even try it. You have been surrounded. It's either you come with us to the station in peace or in pieces. But either ways, you're going with us. Move! I said move! Can you something? Start me, come to my crib, can you something? Straight to your beat, baby. 